Antoniette Rose here, and I have a fun question for you. But before I begin, I just wanted to introduce myself. I am the founder of the Wellness Productions Company who hosts this page, Well on Purpose page, and we are going to get a little bit more interactive from here on out. So to begin, what I would like to ask everyone is what are some of the quirky things that you do to take care of your teeth that are maybe outside of the norm a little bit. So hopefully we all brush and floss and, and have an annual cleaning. Um, but what are some of the other things that you do <clears throat> to help keep your teeth nice and healthy? That might be out of the ordinary. I will share a couple of mine and if you can pop some of yours in the comments below, that will be so much fun. You can either just type it or take some pictures of some of the things may maybe that you use or even video um, some of the things that you and just tell us some of the things that you do vi through video uh, and up upload that to the comments that would be a lot of fun anyhow um, of course I floss and brush and um, and get an annual cleaning each year. Some of the things that I do a little bit differently though, uh, uh, when I go and get my cleaning, I only allow them to clean. I don't allow them to give me any of the um, fluoride treatments or any of the, I don't know, they try to sell me a hundred different things while I'm there. I'm just like, no, just clean, please just clean. And um, they're like, well, it's included and I'm, I'm good. I just want a cleaning. That's it. So uh, I do that. I am very close to my mid fifties and I have no dental work. I'm not bragging and it's definitely not a genetic gift because my family is notoriously um, famous for keeping dentists in business. So I really think that some of these practices are really working. First of all, I eat healthy. Of course, that's a biggie. And I drink a lot of water. I don't drink sodas. I really don't chew gum. Um, one of the toothpastes that I like, I always use fluoride-free toothpastes. Um, so see, this one's fluoride-free, SLS-free. I don't even know what that is, but I mainly look for fluoride free but the and I'm not promoting this particular brand but um, one of the things that I wanted to show you is I actually brush my teeth with charcoal I know that sounds really <laughs> counter counterintuitive right black teeth but for some reason uh, it pulls out the oxygen something to do with oxygen I think in, in charcoal all I know is that it works really well so I uh, it does it does call for cleaning your bathroom sink a little bit more uh, a little bit more often than usual but uh, but as far as my teeth are concerned it does an amazing job at keeping them nice and and not yellow um, another thing that I do that is a thousands of year years old practice um, and I do it I used to do it every day. I used to be really good about doing it every day. Now I just do it every shower I, and it's basically oil pulling. I swish and this is just um, organic sesame oil that I order online. Again, not promoting any particular brand. The only thing I would say is I'll now, I probably will never order a container this big again because um, I didn't realize it, but it can mold after a while. And so I, and, and also, of course, oils are notorious for going rancid. Um, and so even though I use it a lot, I, I didn't really use it fast enough. So I will likely get probably half this size next time. This is a 34, 34 ounce. I thought I was doing really good because I saved money, but um, I'll go with a smaller size next time. But essentially, I just put, I don't know, a swig, like a teaspoon or so in my mouth. I guess I should have silenced that. And um, swish for as long as I'm taking a shower. And then I have a container that I spit into clearly marked so nobody gets into it for the wrong reasons um, of the used oil, which, you know, I, I discard of once it gets full. But anyhow, so I'll swish during 
my shower and then um, and then spit it out and then brush my teeth and then floss and then after flossing I actually swish again with water because you wind up pulling you know stuff out and so you want to swish again so that that bacteria and stuff isn't sticking around in your mouth so let me think so that's basically it no fluoride for me i'm not i'm not a doctor i'm not telling you what to do i'm just telling you some of the things that i do and i'm really interested in hearing some of the things that you do um i brush with charcoal and i swish sometimes i'll switch it up there's a um baking soda based toothpaste that I will sometimes use. I have gotten super ambitious and sometimes have made my own toothpaste, but that's not really my wheelhouse. I'm not consistent at doing that. And there's a lot of great brands out there that are just not very expensive. I think this one, $4.20. I mean, that is not bad for a good toothpaste. Um, is there a price on this? Sesame oil is, is pricey. When it comes to swishing, if, if you want to swish, it's also called oil pulling. There's a lot of data on that um, online. The traditional oil to use is sesame oil, um, but I have used coconut oil, olive oil. I've used all different kinds. I don't personally cook or eat oil knowingly. Um, I try to cook with water and get all of my fats from whole foods like the whole avocado or the whole nuts or seeds, you know, whatever it might be. But when it comes to refined oils, even the good oils, I do use them for my skin and for my teeth and sometimes even for my hair, for a lot of other reasons outside of pouring it all over my beautiful salad. I just think that that's, anyway, whole, whole, different, whole, whole different topic for another uh, little vignette here. But please, 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 please put something that you do for your teeth that is maybe outside of the norm a little bit and i would love to start some dialogue on that looking forward to talking with you more ciao ciao